everyone. It's nice to see you again. Today we're going to look at some more vocabulary um, and today it's going to be vocabulary for the bedroom. Okay, remember you will need your notebook and your pen to help you to work through this lesson. Okay, as always remember you can pause the video and write down the words and also pause the video to do the activities. Okay, it's nice to be back. I hope you will enjoy this lesson. Let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, shall we start? Working with words in the bedroom. Listen and repeat the words. Pillow. Pillow. Duvet. Duvet. Iron, iron, wardrobe, wardrobe, dressing gown, dressing gown, hair dryer. Hair dryer, wall, wall, lamp, lamp, blanket, blanket. Chest of drawers, chest of drawers, slippers, slippers, carpet, carpet, bed, bed. Sheet, sheet. Okay, look at the pictures and see the matching words. Dressing gown. Hair dryer. Pillow. Slippers, lamp, sheet, iron, duvet, chest of drawers, wardrobe. Okay, pause the video now and write down any words you don't know. Remember, it's important to know what the word means, but also how to spell the word. So some of the words, you know what it means, but you don't know the spelling, write it down. Okay, so remember, pause the video, and come back and we'll go on to the next activity, okay? Okay, look at the picture now 
you can see lots of things in the bedroom. Now, get your notebook and write down the numbers one to 14, okay? What you have to do is look at the picture, look at the number and write the correct word. For example, number one, wardrobe, okay? So again, pause the video, take your time. You can look at your notebook for the words that you wrote down last activity, okay? So pause your video and then I'll reveal the answers. Okay, if you need more time, pause the video again. Let's look at the answers. Number one, wardrobe. Number two, lamp. Lamp. Number three, iron. Iron. Number four, chest of drawers chest of drawers. Number five, carpet. Carpet. Number six, slippers. Slippers. Number seven, bed. Bed. Number eight, sheet, sheet. Number nine, duvet, duvet. Number 10, hair dryer, hair dryer. Number 11, dressing gown, dressing gown. Number 12, blanket. Blanket. Number 13, pillow, pillow. And the last one, number 14, wall, wall. Okay, well done. Remember, practice saying the words out loud. So you can always listen to me and repeat. Let's go on to the next activity. Look carefully at the picture. Five things are missing. What are they? So again, in your notebook, write down one, two, three, four, five. Look at the picture and see what's missing. Can you remember? A clue. One. Two, 
three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So, can you remember what they were? Write the answers in your notebook and pause the video to give you time to do it. Okay? Are you ready? Let's look at the answers. Number one. Iron. Number two, slippers. Number three, sheet. Number four, hair dryer. And number five, pillow. Okay, let's go over them again. One, iron, two, slippers, three, sheet, four, hair dryer, and number five, pillow. Okay, well done if you got them right. Remember, you can always go back in the video and try an exercise again. Remember, practice makes perfect. Let's move on. Beat the clock. Say the word as quickly as you can. So you're going to see a picture revealing slowly. Try and say the word before you see the writing of that word. Okay, good luck. Number one. Lamp. Number two. Slippers, slippers. Number three, pillow, pillow. Number four. Chest of drawers. Chest of drawers. Number five. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Number six. Iron, iron. Number seven. Duvet, duvet. Number eight.
wardrobe, wardrobe. Number nine. Dressing gown, dressing gown. Number 10. Sheet, sheet. Number 11. Blanket, blanket. Okay, that was the last one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please write a comment or leave me any ideas for any other vocabulary you'd like to learn. So that's all for now. See you soon. Take care. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find them useful. The teachers and I all enjoy making the videos. So do leave a comment and like the video um, and let us know if there's any other types of vocabulary or any types of lesson that you would be interested in. Take care now. Hope to see you all in college soon. Um, but in the meantime, keep learning English and remember, practice makes perfect. Bye.